This is Jay Zimmerman with another addition to the People's History Spotlight on CHRY 105.5 FM. Today we focus on Chico Mendes, a Brazilian rubber trapper, or Serengueiro, who became known as a strong social activist, union leader, and environmentalist before his untimely death by the hands of an ideological opponent in 1988. Mendes was born on December 15, 1944, one of 17 siblings, just outside the town of Zapuri in the state of Acre, a state bordering Bolivia in the far western Amazon region of Brazil. Zapuri to this day is nicknamed the city of Chico Mendes by Brazilians due to his legacy. Rubber trapping that is extracting rubber from the sap of a particular species of tree, known as the rubber tree, or more properly with its Latin name, Javier Brasiliensis, a native of the Amazon found in bountiful quantities in the state of Acre. Since the mid 1800s, colonial enterprises penetrated deep into these Amazonian regions, and the rubber trapping industry soon nearly rivaled that of the coffee industry of Brazil's coastal regions. The regions where rubber trapping was the prime industry were often impoverished despite the lucrative nature of the industry. Typically, private enterprises, sometimes from foreign nations such as Britain and the United States, would exploit the rubber trappers, paying them little for their work in a neo-patrimonial system not unlike the hacienda of Latin America's colonial past. In Chico Mendes' time, schools, for instance, were largely prohibited on land designated as rubber plantations. If the people were taught writing and arithmetic, it was reasoned, they would realize that they were being systematically exploited by the bosses. Mendes himself did not learn how to read and write until he was of the age of 20 years old, although he had been working as a rubber trapper since he was 9 years old. In 1970, when Mendes was still a young man, he was elected as president of the newly formed Zapuri Rubber Trappers Union. By the mid-1980s, he had formed the National Council of Rubber Trappers, an organization dedicated to protecting the rights of rubber trappers from all across the Brazilian Amazon region. The very first meeting of the council took place in Brasilia, the nation's capital, in the year 1985. This meeting brought workers together to discuss their working conditions and the larger problems that confronted them. The theme of cooperative rubber trapping as an alternative to the exploitative system came up as well, as well as themes such as sustainable rubber trapping and the threat of deforestation. Chico Mendes also advocated a more holistic approach to rubber trapping, believing that the work of extracting the rubber itself was not sustainable for the serengueros in the long run communities built around rubber trapping ought to embrace other practices such as the utilization of nuts, fibers, oils, and fruits, and to implement educational programs for the children in order to better the community as a whole. Mendes, a strong supporter of such sustainable practices, had blended workers' rights issues with those of the larger environmental movement. International environmentalists, for instance, were drawn to Mendes' movement, and international solidarity networks were produced as a result. In 1987, Mendes was flown to Washington, D.C from funds from the American Environmental Defense Fund and the National Wildlife Federation to convince the World Bank and the U.S. Congress to support the more cooperative and sustainable rubber extraction methods. In 1988, Chico Mendes took on a specific fight against an influential cattle rancher, Darly Alves da Silva, who planned to clear an area of the Brazilian Amazon that had been intended as a space for the reservation of rubber trees. The influx of cattle ranchers had long been a threat to the livelihoods of rubber trappers as they needed massive forest space cleared in order to make space for their cattle. Mendes was successful in saving the space through his campaigning, but he gained the scorn of Da Silva, and on December 22, 1988, a mere few days after his 44th birthday, Mendes was shot to death in his home in Zapuri by Darly Elves Da Silva Jr., the son of the powerful rancher. Da Silva Jr. and his co-conspirators were arrested, but had escaped prison, and Da Silva Jr. is still enlarged to this day. International media drew the spotlight on Mendes' life and death, and as a result, the land around his home was made into a permanent rubber tree reserve. Chico Mendes serves as a symbol of the importance of sustainability and social justice in the world. He had tied the cause of workers' rights with that of environmental sustainability, best epitomized by this quote by him. At first I thought I was fighting to save rubber trees. Then I thought I was fighting to save the Amazon rainforest. Now I realize I am fighting for humanity. Chico Mendes, folk hero of the Amazon.
Thank you for listening. This will be another edition of A People's History. This is Jay Zimmerman here for CHRY 105.5 FM.